In this video, we will discuss about moment of forces. Moment of force, sometimes just said as moment. Moment is the tendency to cause a body to rotate about a specific point or axis. This is different from the body's translational rotation because moments are usually defined with respect to a fixed reference point or axis. That is also called as center of moments. So, in order to develop a moment, the force acting on a body should be in such a way that the body would begin to twist about a specific point or axis. This can be accomplished by maintaining two things. Force applied should be such that it does not pass through the centroid of the body. And there should be no presence of equal and opposite force directly along its line of action. The moment of a force acting about a point or axis is directly proportional to the distance of the force from the point or axis. Generally, moment is defined as the product of the force F and the moment arm D. The moment arm or lever arm is the perpendicular distance between the line of action of the force and the center of moments. In vector form, the moment is defined as the cross product of perpendicular distance from axis to the line of action of force and the applied force. A moment is expressed in units of foot pounds, newton meters, etc. As the moment is a rotational force, it is also known as torque, which obviously has a sense of rotation. A clockwise rotation about the center of moments will be considered a positive moment. While a counterclockwise rotation about the center of moments will be considered negative. Principle of moments. The principle of moments, also known as Varignon's theorem, states that the moment of any force is equal to the algebraic sum of the moments of the components of that force. Consider the force F acting in the plane of the body, as shown. The forces F1 and F2 represent any two non-rectangular components of F. The moment of F about point P is given as but F is the vector sum of F1 and F2. So, we can write moment of force about point P as follows. Using the distributive law for cross products, we have which tells that the moment of F about point P equals the sum of the moments about point P of its components F1 and F2. It is a very important principle that is often used in conjunction with the principle of transmissibility. In order to solve systems of forces that are acting upon or within a structure. Principle of transmissibility. The principle of transmissibility states that the point of application of a force can be moved anywhere along its line of action without changing the external reaction forces on a rigid body. Any force that has the same magnitude and direction and which has a point of application somewhere along the same line of action will cause the same acceleration and will result in the same moment. Therefore, the points of application of forces may be moved along the line of action to simplify the analysis of rigid bodies. When analyzing the internal forces in a rigid body, the exact point of application does matter. This difference in stresses may also result in changes in geometry, which will in turn affect reaction forces. For this reason, the principle of transmissibility should only be used when examining external forces on bodies that are assumed to be rigid. Applications of moment. General applications. A person pushing a swing will make the swing rotate about its pivot. A worker applies a force to a spanner to rotate a nut.
Engineering applications. Position of the resultant force. To solve systems of forces that are acting upon or within a structure. In this video, we have discussed about moment of forces.